Italy 2-1 Israel, Italy defeat Israel to stay perfect at start of Nations League, Italy's Davide Fratisi and Moise Keen secured a 2-1 win over Israel on Monday as Luciano Spalletti's side maintained their perfect record to remain top of Nations League A Group 2. Italy lead the standings on six points after they stunned France 3-1 in their opening game on Friday. France are second on three points. Level with third-placed Belgium whom they beat 2-0 in the group's other game while Israel are. Bottom without a point, Fratisi gave Italy the lead before the break when he bundled the ball home with his chest from close range and Keane made it 2-0 from a rebound just after the hour mark. Israel reduced the deficit in the 90th minute through Mohamed Abu Fani, who found the net from the edge of the box after the hosts, staging the game in Budapest, Hungary for security reasons, won a free kick. Italy deservedly took the three points, but often appeared shaky compared to their powerful performance at Parc des Princes. Spalletti made five changes to the side that defeated France. With Giacomo Raspadori and Moise Keane starting up front in place of Lorenzo Pellegrini and Matteo. Retiguay, Italy were also without defender Riccardo Calafieri, who missed out with a calf strain, Fratisi, who was a doubt ahead of the clash, delivered quality throughout the game and opened the scoring for the Euro 2020 champions late in the first half. Sending a Federico De Marco pass into a bottom corner, Israel goalkeeper Yov Jarafai denied Fratisi from doubling the lead after the break, when defender Alessandro Batoni played in the midfielder into the box and the 24-year-old attempted a low shot. Fratisi who also found the net in the win against France, remains the top scorer of Spalletti's Italy with six goals. After the Italian coach took over in August 2023, Keane scored Italy's second in the 62nd minute after Jarify dived to deny. An effort by Giacomo Raspadori but did not manage to save the follow-up by Keane, who struck powerfully with first touch. The second goal saw Italy start moving with much more confidence and they were close to adding a third but Sandro Tonelli's low close-range strike was on the minimal offside. Instead, Israel ensured a nervy ending when they pulled a goal back just before the final whistle as they continued to maintain a fair share of possession against their more experienced opponents. Israel were defeated 3-1 by Belgium on Friday in their first-ever game in Ligue A after they gained promotion to competition's top tier having won their League B group in 2022-23. Thanks for your watching. Don't forget to click the subscribed button and hit the bell icon for more.